This is your diamond insight for tonight of Zambia's faulty constitution. One thing Zambians do not seem to collectively agree with entirely since independence is the method of having an acceptable constitution. Get it right that it is difficult to come up with a constitution making process which offers solutions to all Zambians in general and stakeholders in particular. This is perhaps the reason Zambia's successive governments try their luck at reforming the laws and commands of state. Zambia has so far had the 1964 constitution, the 1973 constitution and the 1991. There have also been several major constitutional changes in particular, 1969 and 1996 amendments. In addition, there have been a number of constitution review commissions such as the Choma Commission of 72, the Mvunga Commission in 1991 and the Mungomba Commission of 2003. Other commissions have been constituted but failed to see the light of day such as the National Constitution Conference in 2007 and the National Dialogue Forum of 2021. In the midst of these constitutional reforms was a failed referendum in 2016 which was aimed at refining the Bill of Rights and the human rights of Zambians and stakeholders which ended up with only a few amendments in what is known now as the Amendment of 2016. In short, over the years, Zambians gathered to come up with what they discuss as acceptable laws, which shall ever end up in a cherry-picking exercise by their representatives in Parliament. This is perhaps why we find it common that our neighbours and stakeholders like the European Union can suggest what is right in our laws when we already know how best to govern our way of living. Now the European Union, which was an observer in the 2021 general election, is advising us to drop the Grade 12 certificate as a qualification to stand in elective political office and at the same time reduce the nomination fees. According to the EU, the Grade 12 certificate requirement is discriminatory. The European Union has recommended fair and acceptable media laws by reforming or repealing laws which hinder the effective dissemination of information to the public. Election Observer Mission is further recommending the removal of undue privileges for the President and the Vice President in campaigns when Zambians have maintained this hotel treatment in the Public Order Act. Is it not surprising that the European Union is pushing an open door by suggesting a law pertaining to political party financing? Article 60 is clear about this intention. What our lawmakers have failed to do is take an act to Parliament so that political party financing is properly regulated by government agencies. It is important for Zambians to do that which is right in the constitution-making process and enactment of the wise mouth of wisdom will continue advising us with the very knowledge we know but fail to actualize.